The Muslim Association of Canada acknowledges Treaty 6 territory. The ancestral and traditional territory of the Cree, Diné, Blackfoot, Solito, Nakota Sioux, as well as the Métis. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way we interact with one another. Traditionally, Ramadan is a time where we come together, break bread, share stories and celebrate. We'll even hug strangers. There's a running joke in the community that we never know how many side hugs we're going for. Is it two or is it three? We'll never know. Personally, I miss the late night Tarawi prayers at the masjid. Hearing the word youth 20 times in a lecture and of course the essential Tim's run with friends. The new rules that allow mosques to raise the adhan at sunset is a beautiful gesture from the city to lift community spirits and set a new Ramadan tradition. For many of our elders, it's their first time hearing the adhan publicly since leaving their home countries. And for many of the children, it's their first time hearing the message of peace echoing in their neighborhoods. Although COVID has taken a lot from us, it's renewed my commitment to continue building an inclusive Edmonton. I'm reminded that whatever the problem, community is the answer. The Adan is a form of community building and place making. The purpose of the Adan literally is to gather people. It's a call to come together, to be together, and to worship together. Faith spaces are more than just places to pray. They cultivate the accidental interactions, the hallway chats and checking in on each other, and the smiles and conversations while even looking for your sandals. In the Islamic tradition, there is a great emphasis on worshipping together. And we stand shoulder to shoulder, as brothers and sisters, as one community. First time uh, when the city allowed us to uh, put the event on speaker, that was really a big moment. The, and uh, you know, all people, like uh, a lot of people, I saw them crying when they first heard the event. The component of the event is the Muaddin himself and the wording of the event. If these components get together, then the Adhan will be really inspiring and uh, has a big impact on people. The City of Edmonton is proud to support the socially, culturally, and religiously diverse communities that make Edmonton an interesting and welcome place to live, to work, to build on traditions, and embrace multiculturalism. By supporting the broadcast of the Azan from mosques across the city during the holy month of Ramadan, and by lighting the high-level bridge on the evening that Ramadan starts, followed by Eid al-Fitr, the City is building an inclusive community where people feel that they belong and can contribute. Edmonton is a richer, more connected community when residents can openly and safely practice their faith and traditions. Ramadan is a time of coming together to increase charity, generosity, and spiritual discipline. Actions that are fundamental to building a more inclusive community. We hope that the city's support of Azan will install growing pride and empathy within the entire community. On behalf of the city, I wish you a blessed and safe Ramadan filled with peace, devotion and celebration. Ramadan Mabarak. Hiya.
Then is something like uh, we attach to it emotionally, and really it's getting us out of life, so we can uh, out of the business of life, so we can put ourselves in uh, prayer mood, connecting to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and uh, uh, at the same time reflecting, and on top of all of this also. Socializing with our Muslim brothers and sisters here in the West.